Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to do flow and shakes. So watch the tutorial until the end to avoid mistakes. First, here I have slow motion clips. Now go to the first clip and press S on your keyboard and add the keyframe and change the value to 350. Now go to some frames forward then add another keyframe and set the value to 100. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard, then go to the graph editor and copy my graph settings. Now press U on your keyboard to view the keyframes and select all the keyframes then copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C and paste the keyframes on your clip which one you like. Now make an adjustment layer and rename it to Blur. Then go to the effects panel and search for Gaussian Blur and apply the blur on your adjustment layer and add the keyframe on blur amount and set the first keyframe to 0, second keyframe to 22 and the last keyframe to 0. Then go to the effects panel and search for blur mo curves and apply the blur mo curves on your blur layer and copy my settings. Now, add the keyframe to your brightness and go to some frames forward and change the keyframe to 1.2 then go to the last keyframe and change the value to 1. Now, press U on your keyboard to view the keyframes, then select all the keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Now, duplicate the adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl plus D on your keyboard and set the adjustment layer in the middle of your clips. Now, make a solid layer and change the color to black, then trim the solid layer according to your clip. Then go to the effects panel and search for CC Jaws, and apply the CC Jaws effect on your solid layer and copy my settings. Set the height value to 0, and set the completion value to 100 on your first frame, then enable the keyframe on completion value and move some frames forward, and change the value to 70. and press U on your keyboard then select all the keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now, go to the effects panel and search for motion tile. And drag the motion tile on your clip where you want warp shake and change the motion tile settings to 500 and enable the mirror edges. Now, go to the effects panel and search for warp and apply the warp on your clip and copy my settings carefully. Now, change the warp style to squeeze and enable the keyframe on blend and change the first keyframe value to 0, then add second keyframe value to minus 10. Then third keyframe value to 10, then fourth keyframe value to 0. Now press U on your keyboard and adjust the keyframe according to your clip. Then select all the keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. 
Now, go to the effects panel and search for Blurmo Curves and apply the Blurmo Curves on your clip and copy my settings. Enable the keyframe on your Shift Y and change the value to minus 100. Then the second keyframe to 50. Then the third keyframe to minus 50. Then last keyframe to 0. Now, select all the keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Now, make an adjustment layer. And go to the effects panel and search for a channel mixer and copy my settings. Set the red and green value to 50, and set the red and blue value to minus 50. Now, make another adjustment layer, and rename it to sharpen. And, go to the effects panel and search for sharpen, and apply the shape into your adjustment layer, and change the sharpen value to 23. Your edit is ready, but it needs some more effects to look more amazing. So wait for my second part of this series. Subscribe for more.